court town to some degree. But uh, it's it really come along. We got some three hundred thousand dollars homes in Robert. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you get a whole bunch of public houses of people coming from Chicago, right? They yeah, they did come there for a while, but uh, like they started to tear down the projects, you know. And uh, and now the old ones that they're going to preserve are going to be renovated, and it's going to be very expensive to live in. So we're going to be getting the top of the crop of low-income people living there now, uh, and then we're going to that's going to be minimized. It's not going to, it's going to be half of what it used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you considered getting more politically involved yourself? Oh, I am politically involved. I, I, I've been an elected official Robert, for 16 years. I've served four terms. Two terms of the village alderman and two terms of the city clerk. Mm -hmm. That ended last year, and I'm through it. Okay. <laughs> so I was out there when Wayne Wade came and gave twenty five dollars to the library. And what I learned from that experience is, even though Robert itself is going through economic turmoil, there's a separate board for the library that is not in relation to the board for the greater. Robbins Metropolitan. So the people that make this are a total different group yes. than the current mayor Roy you mentioned and the whole other and I was out And that's the the park district as well. Yes, yes. It's so, a separate government to it. Yeah, so that was the main point to me, you know, so 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 working out like that. But what we want to do, I wanted you just to say a few minutes, okay. but I'm hoping you can stay. What we're doing is looking at a history historical presentation. Robin, you have a seat right here, okay. and then Harold Lucas is gonna kind of bullet point a few items that uh